brought to you through the regional support of First 5 Fresno County, First 5 Tulare County, and First 5 Madera County. Because it's all about the kids. While most staph infections can be treated, there are resistant strains such as MRSA. Claudia solis Akala explains. This is Fresno County's public health lab. It is here that scientists like Helen Chan detect and monitor disease-producing agents which have the potential to affect the health of an entire community. One of those agents is Staphylococcus aureus. Most of the staff now we are looking at is a community-acquired methicillin-resistant staph aureus. Um, you heard about MRSA, which is MRSA. She will run tests and determine whether someone has a mild staph infection or the superbug known as MRSA. That means the doctor cannot use any penicillins. That's, uh, that, that's like oxicillin, um, a methicillin. Or, or any kind of cephalosporins they cannot use. Sean Elkin is a public health nurse with the county health department. Among his many responsibilities is tracking the cases of infectious diseases to ensure they do not threaten public health. As to the, the extent of this illness locally, but our major concern is that if we don't start addressing MRSA or even the non-resistant form of staph, um, now eventually this problem will become a much larger problem. Elkin says MRSA is simply a form of staph that is resistant to certain antibiotics. When I talk about the transmission of staph or MRSA, it, it is the same method. It's just that the only difference between the two is that one is non-resistant and the other one is resistant. But transmission is the same. The pre presentation of symptoms is also the same. The difference is the treatment. In severe cases, it can infect the blood, requiring hospitalization. If not treated in a timely manner, MRSA can be fatal. Treatment usually consists of a medical procedure. So main treatment is incision, drainage, and then antibiotic treatment. So why does some of the bacteria become resistant to medications? Well, there are a number of reasons. We use a lot of antibiotics. Some of the bacteria figure out, well, how do I avoid get killed by certain drug, so they just change the genes. Another reason, the inappropriate use of antibiotics. Using antibiotics for viral infections, where antibiotics are not useful for viruses at all, only for bacteria. Using broad spectrum antibiotics that are not specific again for the bacteria that's involved in the infection. Um, using expired medications. And instead of seeing a healthcare professional, some people will find other, less expensive means of buying medication. There are quite often available in swap meets and marketplaces. Um, people go across the border to get antibiotics because they're cheaper and readily, readily available, especially if you don't have access to health care. If we actually start acting now to improve hygiene practices and do uh, appropriate use of antibiotics, that's our best means to prevent this particular organism from becoming an enormous public health issue in the future. Thank you, Claudia. If you'd like more information on MRSA, you can contact your local health department. We'll have phone numbers at the end of this program. And the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has a special web page just for parents. We have a link for you. Just go to kvpt.org and we'll get you there. Brought to you through the regional support of First 5 Fresno County. First five Tulare County and first five Madera County. Because it's all about the kids. <laughs>